Bruce, how's uh, Nigel Pack coming along? Uh, he's going through the protocols and, you know, it probably, you know, everything, like I said the other night, you know, it's going to be a close call. Of everything's got to go right and the doc's got to uh, feel like he's, you know, and, and it's it's about him and his future and not taking any chances. So we'll, we'll just see what happens. He, but he has made strides. He's, he's feeling better. Um, and, and, you know, we'll see what happens uh, next couple of days. We got about it's the eight o'clock game. So you got almost two days to kind of get there. And um, last game, uh, two guys who, you know, were kind of on the bench when the, you guys had separation, which the state were ish and Davion. Uh, what, are, what are two things those guys can do to be more involved moving forward? Well, I, I've told the guys all along, they're going to get their minutes and then who plays well in the game is going to get those last seven, eight minutes. And, um, you know, that's just, it's kind of part of it. And we have depth, we have uh, versatility. Um, that first 32 minutes, you're rotating guys, but when it gets a gut check, you're going to go with the guys that are playing well that you trust. And um, the other guys were stepping up and, and you know, playing at a little bar, higher level. Obviously, Davion just, you know, he had a setback. You know, he, he's still his conditioning. His conditioning is still, um, you know, behind where it should be. Uh, you know, and then when you're conditioning, when you're a big guy and, you, and you're trying to keep up with the game, um, now you, you know, you don't hit, maybe have the legs to go and make that layup that he had or whatever. So uh, I, I talked to him after the game. Actually, I talked to both of those guys late at night on Sunday night and, um, you know, and Davion, I just told him, this is, this is a work in progress. We have to get yourself back. We do need you. I'm happy Casey's playing well. Uh, but you know, you might be the difference maker on Wednesday night. And, and so he is, he is important. Um, is obviously his, you know, like a lot of young guys, uh, you know, shooting is your, the mindset he's, you know, that's what he's known for. And he hasn't shot the ball, you know, well, yeah, to this point, he had that one game where he kind of got going. Um, you know, I just talked to him about, I, I thought he played better defense, um, you know, get some rebounds, get an easy one, get a put back, get a, you know, get a transition layup, whatever it might be, you know, focus on all the other stuff that you can control, but he also has to work to help himself get open shots, uh, if you haven't made shots the, you know, you got to work to get open ones. And he loves, I told him this the other night, he loves the game. He studies the game. He knows the game. Now he's got to use that knowledge to help himself find ways to get open, whether it's coming off a screen and setting a screen, uh, slipping a screen, whatever it might be uh, to help himself. And if, if he helps himself and gets open shots, uh, you know, that's going to help us also as, as a, uh, as a as a team so it's uh, you know it would be nice you know I, I said we needed everyone uh, you know er, everyone had some production and it's going to be the same thing when you you lose somebody like Nigel where you know you look at his stats the leading score best percentage best three best assist turnovers uh, you know you got a lot to make up so we need everyone again if we're going to have success on Wednesday night. And uh, can you just go through a few ways that Casey has been a pleasant surprise? What's he doing that uh, you maybe didn't expect? Well, I, I kind of joked about him catching. I think that's the big thing. But his his he is in pretty good shape. He's running hard. He's playing hard. He led us on our play hard chart with 11, which is the, the high for the season for anybody. So not only was he good, you know, catching, scoring, you know, getting to the hoop, diving, you uh, but he was also very, very active in the game and, and, you know, deflections and getting on the floor and taking a charge. And, you know, he, he was just real active. I think that's, that's the biggest thing. And we've kind of harped on him about, uh, you know, he's, he's got a motor, use your motor, use your brains. Um, you know, maybe doesn't have quite the jumping, even though he got a couple of dunks, which really made me feel good uh, for him and for, uh, for us, for his future. Uh, but uh you know, you, you, you do have a great, pretty good athleticism. You're running. He's in pretty good shape. He's taking care of his body. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that come in to the office or to the ice center 
and and work on their bodies. But uh, he might be, uh, you know, spending time with Luke, spending time with AJ. Uh, you know, he is he has really been dedicated to that part of it, which I think has helped his helped his body be in that shape where he can be really competitive. Thanks, Bruce. Good luck to him. Yeah, thank you. Next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how much uh, progress has Casey Asiago made in the footwork standpoint? Well, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I think some of it is, you know, uh, his conditioning, getting his body and, and stronger and in shape. That's allowed him to get better footwork. Uh, you know, it, it he you I think he's used to just being strong and using his his body. Now we're trying to teach him get angles. Basketball is a game of angles and space. Um, and then if you have a good body and strength, now if you can use your body with that with the angles and space, it helps. Uh, but just just getting out of ball screens. Uh, we, you know, we talked about as a staff. You know, you know, sometimes you got to set those things. It, it creates opportunities for the guards. But other times, if you're a little late, it's it's almost better just to run out of it and get to the hoop and and put the defense in a bind with their tags on the weak side, uh, which I thought he did a great job on, on Sunday, and he's getting better at that. Have you had to kind of make it an objective to, uh, to focus on, on getting Davey on uh, – Stick, keeping him positive. Yeah, I, I, I did. Like, like I said, I called him on the way home. We dropped everyone off. I got in the car. I try to think of about guys that need some, you know, love and stuff. And and I called him. I texted Dish. You know, got I can't remember. I got somebody else that Nigel. I think just to make sure he was okay. Uh, but you know, I, I told him. You know, this is and Coach Lowry is very close with them. Um, you know, we, we just told him this is we we told you this is a work in progress. You, your, you know, your lungs, your body, everything got, you know, pushed back. And when you're a big, big guy, it's going to take a little time. And, you know, I'd hope by mid-December, but we're getting toward mid-December. I guess now you're hoping maybe by by Christmas. But he, you know, he's been good. He's coming in every, every and not a game day, but every other day of the week. Uh, he's coming in and doing extra and uh, you know, I, I hope it pays off over this next couple of weeks. And with this day, Wednesday, Wichita State, Marquette, how good is that to get you your three weeks out from conference play, kind of give you guys a taste of, uh, of the normal Saturday and Tuesday, Wednesday kind of thing. Yeah. We, we talked about it even last week. You had Sunday, Wednesday, or I'm sorry, was it? Yeah, it was Sunday. It was Sunday, Wednesday. You have Sunday, Wednesday. This week you're going to have Sunday, and then you got exams, and then you got a Sunday, Wednesday, or maybe a Sunday, Tuesday again that next week. So you get that little routine of preparation. Uh, you know, we we didn't get back till you know whatever 10:30 or so. Um, you know, hard fought game yesterday's all. You know, it's it's a mental practice. It's it's shooting and and mental and 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 getting your bodies back. Uh, today we got to, you know, we're got to do some live stuff and be ready for Marquette. Chuck has done a nice job, uh, great energy. Uh, uh, Marcel is really good player that that uh, has helped them. Uh, you know, they're got the the young guy Lewis is is really played well. Uh, you know, so and he's got them a little bit more his VCU kind of style. They're playing high, flying around, uh, very very active. Um, so it's, uh, you know, we, we got a tough contest. They've already beaten, you know, they beat Illinois, they beat West Virginia, they beat Old Miss. You know, you think about our opponents. Um, so they've beaten some pretty good people right now and, and they got pretty good energy. Thank you. Our uh, next question to Cole Carmody. <clears throat> hey coach. Yeah. I was just curious against, Wisconsin, Marquette seemed like they were doing a lot of uh, full court press. Um, is that something you expect them to continue in this game? Yeah, they, they've been, like I said, Chuck has kind of gone back to his VCU uh, days. He used the press off and on, uh, actually changed the game at, 
Austin last year with us with, you know, it was the, the COVID game where I don't know how many guys we had by five or six and we stuck Luke in there without really even practicing. And, um, you know, but the press, you know, we, it was even, and there was a one stretch of like four or five minutes where that press just, we turned it over, took, you know, took us out of the game and, and we could never, you know, catch up. We did a better job against them at, at home and fought them down to the end. Uh, but they, yeah, he's, he's using the press to create some energy, getting them to play hard. I think trying to create a culture, uh, he's got, you know, quite a few young guys, uh, mixed in with those couple older guys. And, um, you know, that, that, uh, mixture is, uh, uh, you know, been a pretty good formula right to this point. And they, they gave up a bunch against Wisconsin, but they also, they've been scoring pretty good clip also. Yeah, and just kind of building off of that, um, in the game against Albany it looked like they showed a little bit of a full court press. But other than that, you guys haven't really seen that. Um, is that was that something that you were looking at when you scheduled them? Um, was to try and get that, or how did that? It's all... funny you said that, Coach Lowry said, "Did you do this on purpose?" And I, I, I'd like to take credit for that, but I did it. But it worked out because we had to do a couple days of pressing because we knew it, actually Wichita's pressed more. They didn't press very much. I was kind of surprised. Um, I thought that, but maybe just to score the game, they felt they were in good shape, but they've used the press more than they have, than they did against us. Uh, and, I, you know, Marquette is going to press us. I, I, I promise you that they press after made free throws. They press after made hoops. They just try to keep you out of rhythm. So we're taking care of the ball and we've made improvement, but taking care of the ball and making the right plays is, is important. And then I know you talked a little bit about him after the game, but Luke set a, a tied a career high in points with eight um, on Sunday night. Is that something that you've been, you and the staff have been really telling him be more aggressive, try and score the ball, or is that kind of a pleasant surprise for you? He and I've said it to you guys. He, I said it way back. He might have been, you know, there's been a lot of surprises, but uh, he might have been as big a surprise in those early practice to anyone. And then he. Then I say that, and he comes out and lays an eggs, you know, at the start and doesn't make shots. And uh, but you know, it was good for him to get going. He still is a freshman. He, you know, he's it, and he, I know he played some games last year. He played some minutes, but it was without really practice. It's it's new to him. Uh, uh, Coach Southwell was kind of teasing him. He kept making him sit down on the bench while we were shooting the other day, and then he said, "Okay, you're in the game," and he made him run out there. Now you got to make a shot. And, you know, just kind of getting him to laugh a little bit and uh, relax. And uh, obviously it, it paid off because he came in there, not only made the, the two big shots, uh, you know, made that driving layup. His plus minus was second best, I think, to Selton. So he was uh, pretty productive in the game. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Other code? Uh, questions for coach. I think Michael, you probably have just in the lower your hands. Anybody else? Grant Scott. Oh, sorry, Grant. Oh, sorry, Grant. Go ahead. Grant Flanders. Hey, hey coach, you know, Marquise Noel, he really, really played well against Wichita State, even, you know, in that second half. And uh, Isaac Brown said after the game that his defensive pressure may have been the difference. Just uh, how much, how key has he been on both ends, and especially for that game against Wichita State? Well, I, you know, it was, it's, a, it's, he's really important. And I've said before, his dynamics, especially his defensive pressure, can change games. Uh, he's a pest. He, you know, he, he, you think about a uh, big play in the game, gets the, the, the you know, kind of steals the ball, dives for it, the guy grabs his leg. We get two free throws in the ball, you know, big, big momentum changer. Uh, first play to second half. I know he, he doesn't, uh, uh, you know, make, get the layup. They block it, but he steals the ball. And, and it makes it tough for teams to get in there into their offense. And, uh, you know, his pressure has been really important. I, I really pleased with his assist turnovers, four to one. And we talked to him. Coach Southwell had him in yesterday. Um you know, I sat a little bit and talked to him just about, you know, just some of those shots. You know, we, uh, I want him to have confidence, but, you know, the, you, if you make one, that doesn't mean you're on a heat check. I think sometimes 
our guys think one is a heat check. Uh, you got to get two or three before you get into a heat check. And But I love how he's getting into pain. He made great decisions. Uh, he was a good leader. Uh, and he probably was, you know, difference in the game. And you think about, I think he was, was he the leading rebounder in the game? He had eight. I know that. Yeah, he eight. was. So, so he, he was really, really productive in a lot of ways and made the big plays down the stretch. Uh, and then I just want to ask do you uh, for C, I mean, it worked out against Wichita State. Do you think you'll bring Selton off the bench again against Marquette? I think for right now, and I hope Selton uh, feels good about it. Again, who was in at the end of the game? You know, he was in. And that's what we kind of told those guys, you know, play well and, and you're going to get your minutes. And those extra minutes are the big, big difference makers uh, in the game. I, I Trying to look if I got the how many minutes he played. I got the stats here. Um, you know, so Selton placed almost 30 minutes, which is about his average last year. And he's coming off the bench, pretty, pretty, pretty good minutes and and plus 14. So um, you know, I, I I you know, whether we, when we get Nigel back, obviously we see what happens, but when we've had Marquise and Selton coming off, if Luke gives us that production, get Davion going. Um, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good group coming off the bench. And then actually, I do want to ask one more thing, just because Carlton Lingard has been back to practice and stuff. How's his progression has been coming along? Well, I think next week is going to be a big week. Um, you know, I, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's because he's going to get the practice. We're going to actually have practice. We got you know, just asked about the Sunday, Wednesday uh, rotation. And, you know, you know, Michael asked about that. And, um, you know, you, when you do that, you don't, you don't have, you know, like yesterday, we really couldn't practice. Now we did an individual workout with him today. He'll be scout squad. Obviously Wednesday, he's got his, you know, get, he's got a little routine. They go, we're off Thursday. So we'll hopefully Friday, a little, uh, you know, a little bit of practice. Saturday scout squad, but then next week exam week when we got three, four days of practice, um, that's going to be a big step for him uh, to get back involved and, and see if he's got the condition and understanding where he is uh, that he can go back to back to back to back days and, and, and be productive. Thanks coach. Yep. Uh, next question to Wyatt. Coach, good morning. I'm, I'm just morning. not so much from the coach's perspective, but your opinion on the players. I'm curious as to what you feel like this may mean for them in terms of confidence and just validation, I guess, moving forward. With you the know, the win. thing we've tried to do is really focus on growth, uh, yeah. progress. You know, I, I, you, you brought it up to me. I, even after the Kansas City game, I, I talked about this as, I know we wanted to go there and win. Uh, obviously, you know, we competed with two pretty good teams. They both continued to play pretty well since we played them. Um, you know, we, we probably, I guess we weren't ready for them at that time. Now can we be ready for them and, the, the, you know, Wichita, Marquette, Nebraska, you know, the league coming up. And, and that's, that's the biggest thing. I, I hope it's a little bit of confidence. Um, also a, a, a kind of a understanding, uh, a validation of what we're trying to sell to them. And if they do this, you know, hey, Selton, if you play well, you're going to play 30 minutes. You know, it's, you know, there it is. Here's your validation. Casey, if you're active, you're going to play career high minutes, 25. Um, you know, so I, I hope the game was a little bit of confidence, but also validation that, hey, if this is the way we play. We told them yesterday, we showed some of the tough shots that, the quick shots. Um, and we said, Hey, we're doing this not because we're trying to take your game away or we don't love you, but we want to be better. And we think we can be better. And, and if, if, uh, you know, we can make a little bit of strides on offense, uh, you know, if our defense stays like this and the rebounding has made improvement, uh, you know, now, Hey, can we be competitive in the big 12? Any other questions for coach before I let him go? 
going once, going twice. Okay. Coach, I think that's everything. Appreciate I appreciate it. the time.